In 1968, Yogi Bhajan came to the West to bring the technology of Kundalini to those who would listen, to those that would awaken, in order to counteract the unconsciousness that's taking place on Earth at this time in history. It was 1968 when he came here, and in 1971, January, he took the first trip back to India. 84 students went with him on that yatra. And when he got to India, they had already sent a vast amount of their money ahead to make preparations. And one of Yogi Bhajan's peers betrayed him and absconded with all of that capital, all of that money. There was no way of getting it back. There was no way of turning this around in three dimensions. And so Yogi Bhajan went into a deep meditation. In the midst of that meditation, Guru Ram Das appeared in the flesh, right there in front of him, as with all of us. He didn't believe that it was real, and so Guru Ram Das asks him, touch me. And he reaches out and he touches him, and it's, it's flesh, it's real. No denying it. And in those instructions, Guru Ram Das gave him a mantra. And in that mantra, he gave a Kriya. With no money and 84 students stuck in India in 1971, everything was taken care of. All the food that was required showed up. All the housing that was required showed up. All the transportation that was required showed up. Everything that was possibly required showed up. All by the grace of Guru Ram Das. All by the grace of the golden chain. And Yogi Bhajan, when he came back to America, taught us this mantra. 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 When everyone returned from India, Yogi Bhajan was sitting with a few of us, a small group of us, reliving and retelling the miracles of Guru Ram Das and how it had been so incredible on the Yatra. And as he was telling about the mantra, he gave us this Kriya. He said that you want to have three moves in this Kriya. One, that enables you to absorb the grace of Guru Ram Das. The second one is that once you've absorbed that grace, you want to open your spine to allow that grace to rise up through your system. And the third is that you use that grace, the open spine, the Kundalini has risen, and you begin to reach and absorb the universe with all of your might. And these were the three moves and they're to be done exactly as you are chanting the mantra. And the breath is the breath. The breath comes and goes as it comes and goes. So we will begin the mantra and we will begin the Kriya. Put your little finger and the ring finger, the mercury and the sun, against the tip of your thumb. You have the Jupiter and Saturn pointing straight up to give you that balance between lessons learned with joy and lessons learned with ease and lessons learned with great challenge because those were the lessons that Guru Ram Das overcame. You're going to come into a standing Shiva and you're going to be chanting with the mantra. And every so often you'll switch your legs. And I saw Guru Ram Das sitting right, right in front of me. And whatever that was, that looked like Guru Ram Das. I could feel it, feel it. I'm not asking you to believe me. And this is what I was chanting.
And now move into the second pose. Down in horse stance. Fingers are interlaced. Arms are straight, hugging the ears. The horse stance and the bouncing stimulates the blood production in the thigh bone. The next part of the Kriya, as the mantra continues, you're down, still in horse stance. You reach out and you take a hold of the universe and you bring it into your heart. Reach out, bring it into your heart. Kriya is done with the eyes open at the end of the Kriya you allow the energy to circulate through you at the very end when he tells you that I've given this to you your eyes are closed You're experiencing the miracles that human beings are capable of. And no time in history 
has been more in need of these miracles than the time of right now. Satnam. Mm -hmm.